before we get started, I just want to say that this will contain spoilers for the most recent episode of The Mandalorian, Chapter 14, The Tragedy. For those of you who've seen the latest episode, you were probably shocked when Mando's ship, the Razorcrest, was utterly obliterated by Moff Gideon, and boy was it obliterated. Mando's had a rocky relationship with the Razorcrest, especially this season, with the ship taking beating after beating before things finally take an upturn with it being restored to bright and shiny form in the siege. And I have to say, while I was shocked by the ship's destruction, I wasn't surprised, if that makes any sense. I kinda had a feeling this was coming after reading an article several months back about Disney and Lego failing to secure the copyright to the name Razorcrest across several regions in Europe. But I'm jumping ahead, so let's get to the article, which comes from Brick Fanatics, link in the description below. Earlier this week, the LEGO group renamed its hotly anticipated Star Wars set, the Razorcrest, to the Mandalorian Bounty Hunter Transport in some regions. Now some fans have surmised the change may have been made for trademark reasons. According to German LEGO fan website Stone Wars, the name Razorcrest is trademarked across Europe by Michael Gabman, the owner of LEGO-compatible toy Mod Bricks. Gabman apparently submitted the application for the trademark with the German Patent and Trademark Office on January 24th, after The Mandalorian had aired in the US, but before it had arrived in Europe. If that's the case, it would explain why the official LEGO set has only seen its name changed in EU countries. Stone Wars also suggests it may be the reason Amazon cancelled its pre-orders for the Razor Crest earlier this month, before removing the product page altogether. Lucasfilm has since filed its own application to trademark Razor Crest in Europe, but because Disney's original series had already started streaming in the US, it's thought that Gabman's registration of the trademark may be ruled as in bad faith, which may allow Lucasfilm's application to win out in the long term. So could this be the reason behind the Razor Crest's destruction? Let me know in the comments below. Also, like and share this video. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time!